Now the first thing we're going to do on this making this offset to 60 millimeters with a 30 degree angle is I've got a length of tube and the tube is 400 from length to length. Now this is 100 mil, so basically I've just done a mark 100 mil from our measured end. Now I'm just going to show you this because it's important where we put this in the pipe bender now. So what I've done is I've marked the 100 mil and I've put a line across the centre. Okay, so that's the first thing. Then I've got my drawing and I've got my actual um, piece of solder to bend to my 30 degrees. So I'll get the bender, open it up, and this is the important part about this first thing is, I'm going to put the guide in. Okay, so we've got the hook over, we've got the pipe in, and this cross needs to meet where the guide and the former actually meet. So it's important and that's going to put it in the centre of the bend for us. So I'm just going to stick my big fat head in the way just to make sure and you can see this cross where the cross is now. So I am now going to stand it up to, to bend it. Well, I'll spin it around so I can bend it and I'm just again going to check and make sure that my line and cross are exactly where the um, bender and uh, the bender the former and the guide meet and that should put us in the center of the bend now the first thing I need to do is I'm just going to pull it a little bit so it doesn't move and then make sure I've got my 30 degrees which I have I'm going to place that there so you can see that is round about that mark I've made there is round about where the centre of the pipe needs to be so I'm just going to pull that to something like and again I'm just going to take the spring off and then check and make sure that our angle is somewhere like and it is so that's about enough now okay so let's take this out of the bender and see if we actually have bent on the centre line of the pipe. You can see now that this mark has ended up in the centre of the bend where we want it to be. Okay, and that's important that we know where this centre mark is. Now then, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place this on the line and mark uh, where this 60 mil line comes, but if I did my mark across there and then put it in the bender, it would be the wrong way. So what I've got to do is I've actually got to put it that way round to mark it. <laughs> Otherwise, when I put it in the bender, I'll have my mark. So that's another important tip as well to make sure you've actually marked it on the right side. Otherwise, we'd have to put it back on the board again and mark it again. So I'm just going to get my big fat head in the way again and I'm going to place this on top of the black line. Okay, now I've used a marker pen and it would be a lot easier if you used a pencil rather than a marker, but you'll be able to see it with this. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to eye up over the top and actually mark, without getting my head in the way, where this line is going across there and I'm then going to mark the centre again so that's going to be my bending point okay so that's where I'm going to do my bending point and then hopefully this is going to work out correct so I need to put this back into the bender Again, because we've actually put the line in the right place, hopefully, I can now put that like that. Now, again, I need to stand it up and square it up, because if I don't square it up, then I'm going to end up with a crooked bend. And now I need to pull it till that runs parallel round here, okay? 
Now I know the mark I've made there is round about the centre line. Okay. So, it's put back now and it should be pretty flat. It's pretty flat. Now, if I put that centre to centre on there, or top of the line to top of the line, it should have a 60mm. Now you can see that's slightly too bent too far over, so I can just pull it back a little tiny bit, and I can now put the line on top of the line, looking down from the top. And that is a 60mm offset.